And I'm here with my co-host, Zombie Killer, Chieftain, and our engineer, Moab. Hello, How's hello. How are tonight? Hello, hello, all. We, hello. Are coming to you, we are coming to you live on Google Hangouts, YouTube, and Twitch.tv. So, uh, custom to, uh, customary to how we uh, like to start off every show, we are brought to you by quite a few nice organizations. Gamer Gloves. Be sure to check out thegamergloves.com. Enter the coupon code LAGGINOUT, that's L-A-G-G-I-N-O-U-T, and save 15% on your next pair of Gamer Gloves. F you, I'm posting it.com. The only social media outlet where you can post whatever you want without censorship. Check out F you, I'm posting it.com today. Fierce Gaming Females. They do support all gamers on all platforms. Go like their Facebook fan page at Fierce Gaming Females. Or join their group page at Fierce Gaming Females. Hot chicks with sticks. And I wrote that. Thanks. Giggity. That's my slug line. Giggity. How folks, we that? are lagging out. Happy, yeah, happy, folks. Happy. Folks. <laughs> you are watching, listening to Lagging Out. Be sure to go like our Facebook page at facebook.com slash lagging out. Tweet us at Wagging Out. Follow us on Instagram at Lagging Out Show and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can catch all of the replays of tonight's live broadcast from each and every show. We talk about everything from video games, superheroes, cosplay, all things nerd, all things geek. We are the old gamers, we are the true gamers, we are the hardcore gamers. We've all been around, so this is a show. We've actually worked uh, on Sort of for adults, but uh, not necessarily for kids. Rated M for mature. Which means you have to go get your mom and ask permission to watch. <laughs> Correct. Why am I only seeing you on my screen tonight? There we go. I don't know, maybe because I'm locked on there. I don't know. I, I don't know. Um, I've just been working on Destiny all the time. So I was, was going to say. Morning. <laughs> you been addicted? Yeah, you, game addicted? Yes, Looks to I'm me old, like somebody's. I'm in the honeymoon stage of uh, Destiny. Oh. I love it, man. It's awesome. $325 million gross in the first four days. They're probably at a half billion right now. Unbelievable. I like it. I, I don't care what people say. I know we've been hearing mixed reviews about it. Moab was telling me before the show, like, it was getting 8 out of 10 in some places, 2 out of 10 in other places. And um, I think the only two people on here who actually played it was me and Zombie Killer. Is that correct? It's, it's a lot of things. I mean... I don't, I don't even know what to call it. It has a little bit of WoW involved, a little bit of GTA, a little bit of... Borderlands. Borderlands. I mean, it, it's it's a lot of everything. It keeps you busy and stimulated. Uh, there's a lot of pros and cons. Zombie, did you play it on the 1 or the 360? I played it on the 360. Okay. I've watched both, but as far as my hands-on time, today was my first, and that was on the 360. Okay. What did you like about it? What are your pros and what are your cons? The pros are, I like how you're playing the campaign, but other people, uh, you can run into them in your game, and you can actually kind of just run together if you really wanted to. Right. So I like that, that you can play with other people. I think playing solo on a lot of stuff gets boring anymore. The weapons and stuff, it's, it reminds me a lot of Borderlands, and Borderlands was like my number two favorite game. Which we'll be talking about in a little bit. So, And by the way, if you do want to ask some questions tonight, jump in. We are on twitch.tv. Go to our channel, twitch.tv slash lagging out. Ab's hot smiles I'm going to go with. Uh, is uh -huh. your, Her other half is level 20. What, what are you all at? I'm at level zero. I don't have the game. If anyone wants to buy one for a uh, funny guy, they can go to our PayPal. Anybody out there watching or listening, you know, you can donate to our PayPal and... Well, funny guy can get hooked up with uh, be of the new destiny. Also, lethal migraines in the chat, of course, and he goes pros, looks nice, cons, everything else. Of course, he's gonna say that. Yeah, but he doesn't like anything. He so doesn't like, like anything. anything. He's like Oscar. He doesn't even like. He doesn't even like birthday cake. You know what I mean? How can you not like birthday cake? You know. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the community of people that play. I like the strikes. 
I like Crucible. Um, to, to go back to what Zombie was saying, I like the fact that it's in a giant environment where people can help you with strikes, right, Zombie? You, or right. help you with. And yeah. when you get to level 20, you cannot advance anymore unless you do bounties or a thing called, uh, yeah, bounties in either game types like Crucible, which is their uh, PvP, that sort of thing to get better armor. Well, what level have you made it to? 23. Okay. Yeah, oh, my God. I feel like I'm sitting with a bunch of people that play WoW now. So it's it's, it's kind of like This that. is what scares me about this game. Zombie, what are your cons? What are the things you don't like about the game? I've actually just got to watch it be played. Today was my first hands-on, so I'm only, like, level 5. Uh-huh. My first bad experience, and the only one I've had since I started playing myself, has been the error messages, getting booted. Oh, yeah. Um... That took probably about 20 minutes. I stopped the game, went to the dashboard, restarted it. I logged out of my Xbox, logged back in. That didn't do it. I actually had to uh, pull my box off. And I don't know if that's actually what took care of the problem or if it just happened to be coincidental. I know I'm not the only one that's had that problem, though, um, playing online, especially like the multiplayer. Um, it's a sync issue, it sounds like. Yeah. Yeah. And it probably has something, because I've had that same problem. I think it's a regional servers thing, which is interesting, because if you play the game, you notice you're playing with people around your area. I was playing with somebody in Round Rock area, which is a little bit north of Austin. They're like, oh, I'm like right down this. It was literally one exit down. So I think the servers might be local, because that's or regional at least. If you so, think about it, think about it this way. Uh, all of the multiplayer games, you know, I play Battlefield right. uh, a lot. And oftentimes we'll get messages, you know, servers are going down for maintenance. Right. So, you know, servers need to be maintained. Uh, you know, they're getting hammered. And, you know, you do end up, I've noticed, like, after they do a big server maintenance on Battlefield, that I'll have, uh, usually I'll have to, like, reset my modem and reset my router you know, get everything in sync, so to speak. So, so I, I, don't, I don't know. Like, I, I was having the same issues here, too. So, with that, not as much as anyone else. I have some different cons about it as far as the armor is concerned. If you're a level 5 and you go to play the PvP, player versus player, and you're playing Deathmatch, or you're playing some team crash or something like that, and you're going in as a level 6, your armor is really low. Which means you're, you're, you're competing with people that are the whole gamut of levels, 23 and higher, they have what they call crucible armor, which is you get after 20, which your hit points go up to 230 points, and you're level 5, and you only have a 100 defense. So when you're getting shot at with, with a gun that like shoots up to 230 damage, you're just getting smoked. I don't know if you actually tried playing crucible at a 5, but I don't no, they, it. um I was advised not to try to play multiplayer until I hit 20. Yeah, you hit 20, because I, I, I'm still getting smoked, but I'm at the classic Halo KD at .78. So there's just nothing I can do to be good at, at first-person shooters. I'm completely So how many people do you go up against, do you think? How many people do I go up against? Yeah, when you're, when you you're mean? playing in that mode. Oh, it's, uh, it's like a... if it's Rumble, which is 1v1, it's like a... It's six. It's a uh, you versus uh, five other people, and then if it's a team game like Crash, it's six versus six. Oh, okay. And then the Vault of Glass. You have to be a level twenty six, and it takes two three hours to get through it. So, so that's which, how you can level up really like quick. So far, I love the strikes. The strikes are so much fun to me because you're working as a team, and I, I love working as a team. And the people, the people just that are playing this game are really super nice. I've made so much. I, I ran out of friends on my friends list, but like you just can bring people up to. If you go to the tower, that little like globe thing right here behind me, that's that's where everyone converses. It's like the marketplace in uh, MMOs and that sort of thing. So you can meet other people, like dance crazy, do all that crazy stuff, and it's fun. You know, you can pick if you're looking for a person from a fire team. I, I'm very selective now that I'm a 23. I'm like, oh, you're a four. You're gonna get your ass kicked because I'm doing a level 21 strike. <laughs> Moving on. Four's Moving on to our next chatter. All right, I'm going to start playing again, so you guys can go. Uh, More gaming so news. I would go play it, unless you leave a migraine, you're not going to like it. So, 
in the true and in the true spirit of Grand Theft Auto, I just want to make them, uh, you know, some more gaming. Go with Grand Theft Auto again. Uh, heists are going to be added to the game very soon. <laughs> nah, I'm the last six shows. I'm just fucking with you. There's no heists. Oh, okay. Uh, do you do you like racing games? Well, this is actually true, folks. Unlike what I was. This is true. There's no about. fake news this time. There's no fake news this time. Yeah. Um, we uh, <laughs> coming out. There, like myself, Forza Horizon 2. Uh, there's two big titles of interest coming out actually in the next month. First is Forza Horizon 2. The second one is a free. It basically, it's the second free roam based Forza title, and it looks pretty darn good. Not that any of their other uh, versions have been anything less than stellar. Yeah, this um, awesome. It's scheduled to come out in, around the end of September for 360 and the Xbox One. Uh, it's set in Europe. It's going to feature. Multi weather, uh, a multi weather in game engine. So that means it's not going to be perfect weather every time you're out driving. Uh, that's bad for people who want to go on a Sunday drive and you know sunshine and perfect roads. Can you but drive drunk? Who wanna, but for people who want to drive like in realistic situations, for that matter, racing enthusiasts, if you will. <laughs> They add a difficulty of slick surfaces, uh, putting rubber to the tarmac, and all that fun stuff is going to be in this game. There's going to be 200 or more new cars, uh, seamless multiplayer. Horizon 2 should satisfy all the gearheads on the block. There's also going to be uh, four new radio stations, uh, one called Horizon Pulse, Horizon Bass, uh, another one called Horizon Arena, and Horizon Rock. Uh, Isn't the Lavin channel going to be on there, too? No, unfortunately, we won't. We haven't been asked yet. Oh, okay. uh, the originals uh, will be back in the second edition, but the new stations uh, take the sound to be very promising. There's a track list station guide already posted on the uh, official Forza website, as well as other Horizon 2 info. Check that game out. If you're a driving guy and you like any kind of driving game, anything with the name Forza in it is a must-have. I, I don't even need to see the trailer. Uh, I, You know, frankly... Being a guy who started on Gran Turismo, I honestly believe uh, around Forza 2 they supplanted Gran Turismo, especially with the customizable paint jobs on the cars. There were guys out there creating works of art that I, I can't even begin to explain. Now, they those were are, those realistic. Are, those are the people that should get hired as texture artists and designers. Like those people, they essentially are getting that. For yeah, free some some of those people are like 12 and 13 too. Is my point. I'm just getting at that that there's. Forza is an amazing game, and with the levels of customization that they give you, not just for the mechanics of the car, but for the appearance of the car, and I'm pretty confident that this is going to probably also be in the next one. Not that it's not, but I, I'd be willing to bet it is. Pretty hot game, definitely on my radar for sure. Definitely, yeah. I'm. I don't know if I'll. I'll probably rent it because I'm kind of scared of those games because I'll get really into it for a week and then my ADD kicks in, and I'll be like, oh, well, I'm play something Racing else. games can become frustrated, be frustrating because if you've got, you know, I'll give you two examples. Every once in a while you get an asshole that, you know, wants to go the opposite way around the track and crash in everybody and destroy your car so you can't drive. She's okay, so, right there. so there's, there's, people, there's people that do that. But moreover, when you have bad connections, it can make racing games that much less fun. Zombie plays a lot you'll of that have, game. Do you'll you be, you'll be thinking you're winning, and then suddenly you're not. You know? Checking your lipstick in the rearview mirror when you're driving it, or are you getting more frustrated when people are driving the wrong way? Uh, driving the wrong way. And I won't <laughs> mention any names, but somebody does it for fun. Oh, someone you know personally. Well, kind of. Yeah, DJ. I do if I know I'm way, DJ way the plays. He'll, he'll run the whole entire race backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll win. That's the messed up part. How do you win going the wrong way? Is there a glitch, or are you just being... No, he just... Um, I think that's when we were playing uh, Horizon, the first one. He would okay. just drive... You know, I'm like, whatever. I can't even drive forward, so screw you. <laughs> I get so scared at these games. I gotta tell you, this is the kind of game that would, you know, that, that, that at least makes me want to go get an Xbox One now. Knowing that right. Forza is coming out for the Xbox One, I already know it's a gorgeous game. On All the renditions that I've played on the 360 are absolutely stunning. I enjoy driving games. I love the fact that they have the replay in it, that you can watch it like you're watching your own race. There's just never been a better racing game. And, you know, I again, you know, Gran Turismo is a great license. But I think Forza really kind of stole that from them. <laughs> Excuse me, with the publication of Forza 2. 
and maybe even Forza 1. Uh, I remember when I first got my 360, there was Project Gotham and Forza. And uh, Project Gotham, while being a great, a nice, fun racing game, Forza just took it to the whole. Took, you know, everything that you wanted out of gr that, that wasn't in Gran Turismo, they put into Forza. It's kind of the way I, I always looked at it. And, See, this is uh, the thing that, like, this is, this is why we need... You're cheating yourself if you have an Xbox cards. One. Everyone on our crew don't. needs capture cards because everyone plays We need We games. need capture devices. We need... We need yeah, capture devices. This is what we need because I know... They're about 189 bucks, folks. We need four of them. And, uh, you can donate to the Lagging Out Fund. All of the donations go to getting us gear and stuff like that. Here's a new um, thing that we're doing. Games uh, we're actually... for us to review. Right. You know, because everyone plays, all of us play different games. Our, our crew consists of at least over ten people. Moab plays a lot of PC Steam games. Zombie plays a lot of uh, one player, like, her name Zombie Killer. She obviously plays Resident Evil. Plays racing games. Uh, funny Guy plays Battlefield. He plays GTA. I play Destiny. I play Call of Duty. So we play and a lot I of games. Play, I play a lot of Age Empires, and I have a new game coming, actually. There's a Google game uh, I believe it's been out for a little while. It is on Steam. I, I, I have a, uh, it's called Shovel Knight. There's right. several uh, games on Steam I'd love to play. We, we play all different types of games, and the one one I forgot to mention that Zombie plays a lot, that she's like really, she's like Forza's one of her top games, and also this one that we'll be talking about soon. I'm not sure she'll be getting it, but it'll be Borderlands, the, the pre-sequel. And that, that's actually done in Dallas. So, uh, so uh, if you want to do the read for that, Zombie, if you'd like, if you want to do it. I know um, you do. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's the it's going to be the up and coming first person shooter video game being deployed by 2K with assistance from Gearbox Software. That's a Gearbox. It is the third game in the Borderlands and a prequel to the 2012 game Borderlands 2. It is expected to be released to uh, PC users running Linux or Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. And it will be coming out on the 14th of October. Um, so I was kind of surprised that I didn't see it for the Xbox One, but maybe next time. Similar to the previous Borderlands titles, uh, the game combines the first-person shooter gameplay with uh, mechanics common to the role-playing video games like quest, character building, and randomly generated loot. It is a uh, collaborative multiplayer campaign gameplay. The story of the prequel focuses on four playable characters, which were um, non-playable characters before, or they may have been enemies in the previous Borderland games, working as henchmen for um, Handsome Jack, which was the antagonist of Borderlands 2. Did you guys play much of Borderlands 2? No, but if I did, I'd probably be no. like this. Oh. You would. You would. <laughs> I heard it's really good. Um, one of the friends of this. I've had it recommended to me a lot. Uh, the Snowflake Twins, you know, we know her as uh, Christy or the Geeky Gamer Girl. She does a lot of Let's Plays of Borderlands, and she plays it a lot. And from what I've watched on it, it's hilarious. I mean, it, it's kind of tongue-in-cheek post-apocalyptic. Am I correct? Type of yeah. Book. You know, it's very, um, the art is very stylized. That's, oh, I think it, Isn't it like cell shaded or something like that? It's I heard it looks like really cool. It's a it's what they call tune shading. Uh, right. What they do is they do it in three D and then they tune shade it so that way it makes it look two D. That's I never like thought I would play the game. I thought I would absolutely hate it because yeah, I wouldn't think you would like a game like that. It wouldn't be your type well, of game. My friend, he was playing it, so he's sitting right beside me, but he had the volume off, right? Uh -huh. And I'm over playing Call of Duty, and I just keep looking over, and I'm like, how can, you know, what's the big deal about that game? Like, from here, I, I don't I don't know. That game looks like that. shit. Why are you playing it? It looks so... <laughs> <laughs> but after I started playing it, the humor, it, it's just... It's very tongue-in-cheek. Yeah, it's, it's... Some of it, you're just like, wow, I can't believe they just said that, or... Um, kind of like me on the show. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> but I like the characters. They're all pretty funny, especially the siren, because I think she has a sense of humor like I do, and I'm like, yeah, you know. Wait, you have a sense of humor? A C? Maybe a little bit. Is it a very dry sense of humor? It's very sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, not no, zombie killer. No. no. <laughs> 
But I definitely, I'm going to get that game. So, um, so it takes place before the first two? Is that correct? Yeah. Are you good? You have a capture device, correct? I do. You should do it when you get it. You should do a. You should do a let's play on the channel. I'm sure people will watch it. Yeah, that would. That's a good idea. I haven't used the card in a while, so. Yeah, I mean, it, you don't have to worry about shooting anybody. So, I mean, for first-person shooters, it was like you found it difficult. But I'm sure for games like this, we are the best show about gaming, cosplay, superheroes, all things nerd that you and your friends are not watching. We don't know why. We're pretty awesome. Just saying. We so even got a girl in her show. She knows her shit. We even so got it. Yeah, exactly. You said shit she again. What, she, she, and she's, she's a semi-pro. And she's attractive. Come on. Come on! If you're not going to watch it, I'll, I'll just put the camera on her the whole time. Will that help you guys? Will you watch now? Please watch now. There. Please. Zombie no, Kill is going to be on the top All right, okay. now. We're going to call it Zombie Killing Out. <laughs> zombie <laughs> Killing Out. <laughs> 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 You know, we here at Lagging Out aren't all just shits and giggles, folks. Uh, we take Our some things very shit. seriously. <laughs> we take some things very seriously. Uh, here's a little Our Lagging Answer update. Starting in less than two weeks, folks, we're going to be auctioning off a full cosplay costume. Uh, a couple co uh, full cosplay costumes valued at over 1500 bucks. No way. Are you listening out there? Is Listen it that out much? There. Here's the cool part. Donations are, uh, of 10 bucks get you a Lagging Out button. Uh, while supplies last, donations of over twenty dollars will enter you into the Lagging Out loot bag. A fifty dollar value, is that correct? Yes. And uh, be sure to tell your friends about this event, uh, and be sure to keep an eye out for the auctions. We'll let you know where to go and how to bid on those items once they're up. If you want to join the Lagging Out event on Facebook, you can just friend me on my my professional uh, friendly friend Facebook page. Uh, just look up Chieftain Space Lagging Out. That's my name on there. And that can add you to the event, and that way you can get daily updates on what you can win, what you can buy, what you can donate to help beat breast cancer, lagging out breast cancer. The hashtag is one up for boobies. And if you don't want to don or auction to buy something, there's a donate button below the video for our breast cancer. Also, for the show, if you want to help improve the show. What are you, you saying? We need him. Are you saying that we need improvement? I'm saying everything needs improved. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. This three-day-old beer like... needs improvement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right I'm just, I'm just jerking around, man. I believe me. I, we need improvements. I, I could not agree I was more. Trying to show our chat. I need a bigger piece of up. green screen for starters, folks. Yeah. I need green screen, and I need a, I need a Destiny game. Okay. Right. And we need capture devices. So if we it came down to it, though, and you had to pick one or the other, which one would you go for? Green screen or Destiny? Uh, I'd probably have to say Destiny because we need the content. I, I, we need the content more than we need the green screen. Dan's like, I need something else to do. My thumbs are getting bored in the same pattern. So. No, I don't, I don't care about that. That doesn't bother me, but I'd like to see what all the, see what all the hoopla is about. You could probably buy a used version on at GameStop or um, another gaming place or Amazon. Yeah. Uh, that's what I do. That's what I did with Titanfall. I bought. Them. Always go to Amazon. Sorry. Yeah, I think I think. I, I have a horrific right. Amazon story that I am probably the only person on the planet. I tried to buy when Amazon first started in the early 2000s a hard drive. Uh, I used a credit card. I never received my hard drive, and I never received my refund from Amazon. As a result, and it's now 2014, let me be very clear. I have never, ever bought anything off of Amazon, and I refuse to shop there because of that one bad experience when they first started. Now, I understand that it's when they first started, but... I'm just going to tell you right now, straight up honest truth, after so many years, it's kind of like, well, I've never shopped on Amazon, so why start now? <laughs> Great story. So, stunning story. so I, am literally, I am literally, I am literally, I'm literally, I am probably the only person in the United States that's never bought anything off of Amazon. Let's, let's or give the guy a hug. Give me your big guy. Come no, here. I don't want you. I don't want you sipping. Then he kiss my ass. I'm <laughs> proud of the fact that I haven't bought anything on Amazon in 14 years. Are you kidding me? You know what I buy on Amazon? Are you I kidding buy, me? 
I wouldn't buy a box of rocks from Amazon after my first and only experience with them, and that's the truth. I buy magic I, I bought, cards off Amazon. <laughs> He's got magic to slathering. I will buy on eBay. I'll shop what? on eBay. I'll shop at Walmart online. I'll go to name another company. I'll buy from them online. I can tell you that as sure as I'm sitting here, and it's kind of nuts, but I probably am the only person in the United States that's never shopped on Amazon. I don't even look. But I, I like Amazon. The only bad thing is I bought something for my Mac two weeks ago, and it doesn't come for six weeks. That's the only bad thing. The other thing came in two days. And the so. other thing was in within five minutes. So, hey. What? Never mind. I'm not going to repeat it. Nobody's paying attention. You see, you come in so low compared to Funny Guy that I'm oh, so used to his volume, and then when you talk, it's very light. So I said, and your other thing came in five minutes, so hey. Oh, oh, it's a sex joke. Oh. Wouldn't be yeah, a like it out it was. if Zombie Killer didn't take it to the crotch. <laughs> oh, at least somebody said it. Oh, the wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Where's my fucking room shot? You're going to take it there, or I'm going to take it lower. Whoa! What? Oh! No, I, like, no I, took it, I took it below the He's belt. He's going like down. I'm telling you guys right now, Lethal Migraine just complimented Zombie Killer. It's probably the first compliment he's ever given out that's not to me. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm <five. laughs> It's like he wants to be my friend and hates you guys. <laughs> so, anyway, I've been playing... I can honestly tell you, I've been playing video games. I popped my first quarter into an arcade machine in 1977. It was Atari X's and O's football. And it was a trackball. Oh, yeah. and, and I've played... I started off as a coin-op kid, and then once games became accessible in the home, I, of course, right. followed pursuit of that. So. That's cool, though. I remember. I remember. I vaguely remember that game. Um, the first football play I was playing Madden '93. That's the first football game I played. Okay, I gotta well, rewind. Football, oh, that was no, that was the very first football game I played. But um, so I've been playing football games for a long ass time. Um, after that, I my my earliest recollections are playing Space Invaders, and uh, I remember my dad either had a friend or I had a relative that oh was part owner of a bar and in that bar for uh, one of the Super Bowls it was in 1980 it was the Eagles Raiders uh, they had an asteroids machine and I played that machine every chance I could while we were watching the game and uh, that was how I became actually really good at like asteroids so oh, 80 wow. I would have been nine years old and was you know already like close to like flipping the score on asteroids Wow. On an arcade. Now, I couldn't, don't think I could do it today, but, you know, you got to remember. You know, that, was, that Right. That was the game back in the day, you know. Um, I've always been a pinball kid. I've always played pinball machines. So I think true gamers really appreciate a good pinball machine, whether you're a video gamer or whatever. Let's do what Zombie Killers didn't do about seven months ago and wrap it up. <laughs> Zing. <laughs> Zazing. Double. Can we do the reads now, funny guy? Can we do our little you reads? Do whatever now? you want. Apparently, I'm not needed. Just roll the tape back. I don't know okay, that's remember. cool. See you later. Wow, someone's all pissy. It's Anyways. not me right now. No, oh, not right you. now. It was all you for the last 40 minutes, but it's cool. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed. Only my 40. Thing. What we were talking yeah. all the time. What are you talking about? We did good. We did a little bantering there. That's good. That's yeah, right. It's good. It's fine. Now, the, now it's when fine. we get off, he's gonna yell at me. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> he's gonna do the no lagging out after party. <laughs> all right. Well, let's do the reads. I'll do the first one here. Revolver Gaming, a clan that succeeds at being strong and unique among the thousands of clans of mundane and weak. Check out Revolver Gaming on our YouTube or Twitch at twitch.tv slash Revolver GN United today. Do you like our show, folks? If you do, check out our YouTube channel. Be sure to go subscribe because you can also not only watch Lagging Out there, but you can check out Nerd Realm. Uh, it's basically only on the Lagging Out network, so if you want to watch Nerd Realm, you got to go to our channel and you got to go subscribe. It's the only radio show that broadcasts from the bowels of TARDIS. Check them out on our YouTube channel. They have their own playlist. It's a very funny show. And uh, I think if you enjoy our show, you'll really enjoy 
nerd realm. Check it out at uh, youtube.com slash lagging out. And for those that aren't exactly ready for a clan, but maybe a community, you should check out the Xbox Boss Players. They are a multi-platform community run by the one and only Blue Polar. They welcome all gamers on all platforms, regardless of their name. So check out their group today on Facebook at Xbox 360 Boss Players Group. Like Boss. Boss. Boss, yo! Isn't, isn't that like the name of the drink? Like, close to it. That's balls, right? The balls drink. Just take the L out. I don't know much. I wouldn't drink a drink called balls. Really? Yeah, I'm a guy. It's just kind of weird. I've seen a lot of guys with a lot of balls up to their lips. Oh my god. I don't watch those. <laughs> I don't I don't go to those websites like you do, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I'm It was on Think Geek. Come on. It was on what? On uh, Pinterest? Think you found it on no, Pinterest? ThinkGeek.com. Mm. Doesn't sound like something I'd find, think you'd find on ThinkGeek.com. But okay. Something you'd find okay, in so What does watching our show ball. get you? I know what you're thinking. You're watching our show. You're going, what the hell am I doing watching this show? What, what, what is this getting me? Well, it's getting you a chance to get into the Lagging Out League giveaway at the end of the year. How do you win? First off, you got to watch our show. You got to watch it live for the trivia question to pop up on our Facebook page, and then the first one to to write in to, to add a comment with the correct answer to our trivia question each week uh, gets a chance to get entered into the end of season lagging out loot giveaway, which is brought to you by Game Insight, Narrate, and Gamer Gloves. Now, what's in the lagging out loot giveaway? Uh, just to name a few things, we've got an autographed copy of Game Informer by the entire Total Rock Studios. Promoting the game Evolve, which will be coming out next year. We've got a pair of gamer gloves, an Xbox Live card worth 50 bucks that you can use on your Xbox 360 or Xbox One. South by Southwest lanyard, autographed by yours truly here, me, Funny Guy, and Chieftain. And we've got more, uh, just a myriad of prizes, well worth over $500. Last week's trivia question was... Uh, dead or alive, extreme beach volleyball may be naughty, but what company made the full-on pornographic games for the Atari 2600, including Beat 'em and Eat 'em, Bachelor Party, and the infamous Custer's Revenge? Was it A. Mystique, B. Eros, C. Risque, or D. Vivid? I know. Mm, uh, okay. It's D. You're wrong. Wrong, dumbass. Wrong, dumbass. Yeah, I can't do. I can't get it to roll like that. <laughs> Wait, funny. Wrong, <laughs> dumbass. Wrong. <laughs> Did you ever come across these games though when you were playing the Atari? When I was a kid, yes, I remember them coming out, but I was, of course, not old enough to buy these games. Uh, the answer is actually a mystique. Uh, we'd like to congratulate Ryan Roberts. He was the first to answer the, correct, the question correctly on our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash lagging out. And why am I telling you that? Because I'm going to give you this week's trivia question. Or do you want to give the trivia question? I can do it. We just hit 2,500 plus likes on our page, so congratulations to us, man. Yeah. What video game was host to the first known Easter egg, quote-unquote, of parentheses, hidden surprise. A. Well, I mean, just say an Easter egg is a hidden surprise in the game. Right. Exactly. Most people should know, but if you're yeah, if you're a dumbass and you don't know, and you're watching our show and you don't know what an Easter egg is at this point in your gaming life, go step on a well, Lego. Throw all, yeah, step on a Lego, throw your shit away, and I don't know, take up doing hook rugs or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's uh, scary is that the two of you know what hook runs are. Yeah. Actually, actually, I, I'm not sure that I do. I was just kind of freaking out that you mentioned it. Yeah, it was kind of weird. It's a weird <laughs> hobby. That's my point. What video game was host the first known Easter egg? A. Campaign '84 by Coleco. B. Adventure by Atari. C. UFO by Odyssey. Or D. Gorf by Atari. Now, I'll go ahead and throw in a bonus on this. If whoever answers the question correctly uh, on, on this can tell us what the Easter egg is in their comment in the game, you'll get two entries into the Lagging Out Loot giveaway. What? 
What? Wow. Buddy guy feeling generous tonight. See, see, right? see how my unpredictability can play oh into our hands. God. Not Come only do we on. want to know who has the Easter egg, which of these which of these four titles provided the very first Easter egg in a video game. If you can tell us what the Easter egg was, you'll get a second entry. Everyone's going to be like going to all these websites now trying to look it up. <laughs> That's all awful. four of our viewers. Right. But um, make sure <laughs> to answer the question on the image that's posted on our Facebook page this week. It shows up at different times, so you're going to have to be checking our page daily to see if it's up that day. So you can join our Facebook page today, and you get constant updates. Now someone's, like, kicking my ass in the game. I think someone's, like, oh, someone's saying hello to me in the game. I got to say, I'm going to... I'm gonna do a boogie dance with him. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he disappeared. Screw you. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Um, is that it? Yeah. Should we just wrap it up? I think that's it, man. You've been watching Lagging Out tonight, folks, live on Google Hangouts, YouTube, Twitch.tv. Be sure to subscribe to our channels at YouTube, youtubecom slash out. Go subscribe to us on twitch.tv slash out. Like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash out. Follow us on Twitter at out. Like us on Instagram at out Show. Cobra! Cobra! <laughs> and, uh... Take care, brush your hair. Am I doing it? I... Sh I well, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure it out, and then... We'll, we'll fix it later. <laughs> Funny guy will fix it later. On behalf of Zombie Killer, Funny Guy, and Mo Abidi, we would like to thank you for watching Lagging Out. And until next time, this is Chieftain signing off and lagging out. How was that? Mm, kind I just of don't like fresh. Lagging out. I don't know. It's kind of. Sounds so. Yeah. It sounds too rehearsed. Maybe I should do improv. Uh, yeah. Well, just. Uh, <laughs> that was good. Uh, here you go. I don't know. Let's have. Let's. On behalf of Zombie Killer, Funny Guy. No, wait. I'm Funny Guy. On behalf of Zombie Killer, oh, no, Chief Mo Beatty. Hey, there's Mo Beatty. Stick we would like to now. An hour from now, we'll be playing Life Is Futile. It's the new game that just came out. Uh, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned. <laughs> He just cut you the fuck off. He just cut you off. Wow, did you really just do that? <laughs> Damn, and he didn't even break. Oh, man. What's going on? Are we still on? Are we still on? Oh, we're still on. Yeah, we're still on. Wow. <laughs> Let's try it again. On behalf of Zombie Killer, Chieftain and Moabiti, we would like to thank you for tuning in and watching the show this week. Until next time, this is Funny Guy signing off. Folks, tonight we're lagging out. Game's over. See you next time. That Lagging out.